let me be honest with you. Now is no longer the time to straddle the fence as a Christian. Now is no longer the time to be living one foot in the world, one foot with Jesus. Now is the time to fully repent from your lifestyle of sin and turn back to Jesus Christ. Because one thing I know for sure is that the book of Revelation is going to come to pass. What does that mean? That means it is guaranteed that this world is going to grow darker and darker and darker and darker. It does not matter who's president. It does not matter who you know is in the White House, who's president of whatever country. No politician will be able to save this world from the coming darkness. Only Jesus Christ can save us. Only Jesus Christ can save us. And so many people misunderstood that video I made about Kamala Harris. I said in that video very clearly, I do not idolize any politician. God is my God. Why? Because I don't believe that a politician can save us. And too many of us think that, and that's not true. Regardless of who becomes president. Now, what I do believe is that God can put a person in power to hold back darkness for a period of time. But darkness is eventually going to come. This world is eventually going to grow darker and darker. And the book of Revelation is eventually going to come to pass. And another thing is many of us are lazy because we sincerely believe that we are going to be raptured before we experience any suffering. And I don't believe that. According to my reading of Revelation, I do not believe that we're just going to be raptured before we experience any tribulation. Because if you read the book of Revelation, it says that the days will be cut short for the sake of the elect. But it doesn't say that we're not going to experience anything. So go and read the book of Revelation for yourself. Stop listening to everybody's voice. This is a call to you to go into your prayer closet, to go and pray to the Lord for yourself, to go and start reading your Bible for yourself, to go read the book of Revelation for yourself, to go and develop a real relationship with Jesus Christ for yourself and stop playing games. Because you know what? I've been praying in this season more than I ever have in my entire life. And I sincerely believe that even though the darkness is coming and we can't stop that because it's been ordained by God, it's already gonna happen. The word has been said, it's going to come to pass. What I also believe and this is what I've been getting in my own prayer time, is that a great revival is also going to take place in the in the world. I believe that it's almost going to be like Acts 2, 2.0 in the world, that the church is actually going to be like it was in the book of Acts again. Because when you read the book of Acts, there were great signs, wonders, and miracles taking place. Okay, it's called the, the Acts of the Apostles, I believe. There were great signs, wonders, and miracles taking place in the book of Acts. But there was also great tribulation taking place in the book of Acts. There was great tribulation. There was great persecution. Many of the apostles, if not all, or I think only one apostle um, was spared from being killed for the sake of the gospel. And I think, and I believe that that's John. I'm not quite sure. Somebody can, can reference that for me. But in the book of Acts, there was great tribulation, but there are also great great miracles, signs, and wonders. So as this world gets darker and darker, the real children of God are going to begin to arise and get brighter and brighter. They're actually going to begin to shine really brightly. So that's why I'm telling you now, if you're one of those people who's lukewarm, who's straddling the fence, now is the time to repent, okay? Because what you need to do is you need to begin to pray and ask God what it is that he wants you to do in the world. You have an assignment. It is not over yet. There is an assignment. The Bible says there are many souls that still have to be saved. The Bible says the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Pray that the Lord of the harvest would send more workers into the into his harvest field. And the Bible also says that before, G, the, before the end comes, the gospel must be preached to every corner of the earth. The gospel has not yet reached every corner of the earth, right? So there are still assignments that God has for us before the end times, before the tribulation. That's why you need to go into your prayer closet and begin to ask God, God, what do you want me to do with my life? God, why have you put me on this earth? Why have you put me in this time? What, what have you called me to? And this doesn't have to just look like traditional ministry. It can be God may be calling you into the realm of business, into the realm of government, into the realm of entertainment, into whatever sphere, because in that sphere of revival needs to take place. You understand that every single place God puts you in, he puts you in for you to be a light in that place. Okay, so it doesn't have to look traditional. God may want you to completely, you know, overtake the entertainment industry with the gospel, with the kingdom of God. God may want you to overtake, you know, the business world with the kingdom of God, with the gospel. God may want you to do all all, you know, overtake whatever sphere he wants to in with the gospel. So God is a very strategic God. That's what you need to begin to pray and ask God, God, where do you want me to be? Who have you called me to be? What do you want me to do? Okay, how do you want me to bring your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven? How do you want me to contribute to this great harvest of souls that needs to take place before the end comes?
okay so this is a call to arise to stop playing games okay if you've been playing games repent just repent just turn back to jesus and ask him to help you to help you to fully turn away from your sin and begin to seek him okay seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and everything else will be added onto you this is not a message of condemnation this is a message to get you to arise begin to arise okay if you're still breathing you can still repent you can still turn to jesus it's not up to you alone okay you have the holy spirit in you who empowers you to you know repent of your sin to give up whatever addiction or problem or whatever that you have okay so this is a message to get you to arise okay wake up start to wake up it's no it's no longer the time to sleep because crazy things are happening unprecedented things are happening in politics in the world and if you have eyes to see you have eyes to see like you can see the crazy things happening so now is no longer the time to sleep and to be comfortable now is the time to wake up okay and understand that when you wake up when you repent the holy spirit will empower you so do not be afraid just arise the holy spirit will empower you he will give you peace okay even in the midst of darkness he will give you great peace because you know jesus christ is lord okay jesus christ will protect us he will save us okay um he might not do it in the traditional sense that we all think like we're gonna you know all avoid any kind of suffering let me, let me tell you something the bible makes it clear that you know in this life there will be trial and tribulation like we as christians can being a christian does not mean avoiding suffering it just means that in the midst of the suffering in the midst of the suffering jesus is with you and in that midst of the suffering when jesus is with you you have great peace you have great power you have great authority okay so god bless you